can't just snap my fingers and make a plane. Believe me, I wish I could. Right now, we needed one. Bad. When we were coming over on the boat, I remember seeing an aircraft carrier. That gave me an idea. The Admiral Anderson. The name of an old sailor. When the first drone started attacking, this ship wasn't ready for battle yet. It was still in the dock, getting all rigged up. So they rushed to get her ready. I know about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. They say the deck was sloping so bad as it sank, the last plane barely made it off. Those fighters ended the war. That story gives me a little bit of hope, especially at a time like this. We're all in the same boat, like it or not. If this war keeps going on like it is, it'll be the end of everything. The military loaded this thing to the rafters with planes. Some were fighters that were going to be delivered to bases in occupied territory. It was hit before it could complete the mission. Jackpot. The hangars were loaded with goodies. This scrap queen's got work to do. Trigger, everyone, listen up. The operation was a success. Erusian defense forces have been neutralized, and all arsenal birds are down. However, those two new drones buzzing around have royally screwed up our plans. The Ocean and Erusian Coalition's air forces are in a sorry state thanks to them. We might not even have any viable aircraft left. According to the Scrap Queen, the drones are trying to use the space elevator's transmission capabilities to send their data to drone manufacturing plants across the continent. They're trying to strengthen their numbers. What's worse, their data contains a depth of war experience, so the newer aircraft will be more tactically advanced. If that's the case, this war will never end. We need to take both drones down no matter what it takes. We'll do it! So we have homes to go back to. Well, the Scrap Queen's on our side. She says she can make any aircraft fly. This is our final mission. Trigger, let's go. We've got a goddamn war to end. for a nice shine, so you can really see the sky. Take care, Trigger. When you get back, let me know what you saw. Let me see that. Trigger, wish I could have flown with you. A dinged up plane and an injured pilot would only slow you down. I feel for him now. Muito louco. Saí do porta-avião. Aí sim. Aí já foi isso da hora.
So, this is the guy? Oh, yeah. He's the one who took off just now. We've got quite a few erosions with us. Blue Seeds are sticking around, too. I don't care what country anyone's from. What counts is knowing who the real enemy is. Right, guys? Affirmative. And I think everybody here knows the score. We all know who to follow. Commence mission. All aircraft, follow trigger. Roger that. Understood. All right. Understood. Roger. The space elevator is able to broadcast and communicate. With the information infrastructure down, it's the only place capable of wide area data transmission. The drones are waiting for it to power up again. Clever little bastards. Signal is lost. Control, 
thrust, but I'll be okay. Uh-oh, that's quite the problem. It appears I can't get any more thrust. The drone is turning. It'll send its payload. Shoot it down, Trigger! Down. 
thought of a way out of here. The space elevator. The windbreak is hollow, and there's no ceiling all the way up. Not sure if my bird can handle it, though. Fly! I know you can make it! I'll attempt a belly landing. Get out of here! Everyone's waiting for you! I wanted to wait until I had less fuel, but I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Anyway, here goes. Come on, baby, stay with me just a bit more. Mission. This is Captain K. Nagase of the spaceship Pilgrim One. The ocean of stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. And now, at last, we have a gateway to ascend to it, over and over again. It's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I salute the pilot who gave us all a future. To skies unknown, the path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Grandad.
The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktuvania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us too. I never wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. Dark blue. To the heavens and beyond. Can you hear me?